everybody, it's Tyler here at the Central Illinois Regional checking in with defending champion 1756 Argos coming in. This is one of my favorite reveal videos. I don't know who made that reveal, but kudos to that person because it was like a cinematic masterpiece, by the way. So go check that out if you haven't so far. Argos is here bringing another phenomenal machine, uh, doing really well here at Central Illinois as we're filming this. Of course, we'll be following that whole note journey as we go through, both from a mechanical and a programming side. The team has been scoring on the trap very consistently as well. And a lot of cool nooks and crannies that really go into this robot. Such great packaging. Let's learn more about Argos coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Logan, let's talk about uh, just the overall mechanical aspect of this team. Uh, you have so many great things going on, so talk to me about really that full note journey coming in from the uh, intake into your, uh, your shooter and how it all works. All right, so following the note journey, it starts here. Obviously, we have an under-the-bumper ground intake with a lot of iterations coming into it. Um, what we came out with is Omni wheels, which is just best because we funnel from left to right, so the, the note can move left to right with these wedges that we have here, 3D-printed wedges that basically funnel into the center where it can only be in one position once it comes out. And that came from so much trial and error with different types of wheels. Uh, the different types of wheels being like Mechnum and different rubber wheels that we tried. Um, and then once we get uh, through our intake, we go to basically what we call our shooter or carriage. And this carriage being held up to a certain angle by software, which we'll get into later. Um, it goes straight through this handoff and the note ends up in this carriage and then with so many iterations of this carriage we went from top top and bottom shooters left and right shooters and we even had a weird wind up shooter that we tried but the top and bottom shooters seemed to work well with compression spin just the perfect mix of all of it um, it being driven by linear rails both it and the climber uh, we have linear rails that are driven by these hex shafts that go under our belly pan, but they're both driven by Falcons. Um, and then having that be able to go up and have the versatility of the linear rails, and not to mention the fact that our shooter can go all the way around, which ah, is a little hard right now that it's turned on, but it can go all the way around and be in different positions, which software will talk about its magic. Talk um, to me about the uh, wheel config that you have on here. Like, how did you, throughout your testing, how did you come up with this set and why was it best for Argos? Um, so the first problem that we found was the fact that these wheels are quite heavy. Um, we did have all this whole roller filled with wheels, um, but then we realized that these, these certain spaces don't really touch the note as much and there's not as vital to, touch, like, to our shot as these are. And we realized that it really does not drop our accuracy much at all, if any. So we kind of took those out. This touches the sides of the note the most, and this is just for stability in the center. And it, it, it works perfectly fine when we were practicing our shooting. And we'll be talking about, I think, your trap a little bit later with software as well, but what about like the mechanical aspect of your climber? Can you just give a brief overview of that? Uh, our, I, I would say our climber is pretty simple this year, just being linear rails with hooks. Um, we do have a very versatile trap scoring, I, I would say. With these hooks not really being, we've played with them a lot and it, the trap has been able to work in so many different ways. Um, they're basically just these little polycarb hooks with um, this cutout, which this cutout is the width of the chain, so it does get stuck on there. So we can't get off, but it, we do not move after we have climbed. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, and the trap just being so versatile with this 360 carriage is just really the best part. Well, Nikhil, there's so much to go through uh, from a software aspect of this. So talk to me about, you know, different states you're doing, some of the sensors as well, and we got to show off how some of this all works with that note journey going through too. Yeah, okay, so we start obviously at the intake. And so as we intake, 
we have these sens we have a sensor right here and then one right here. And these two will detect when the note passes by. That way we can have a system for our driver to know when our when the note is intaken so he doesn't have to see on the field where it is. Also to make sure that we don't intake two notes and incur any penalties. So our note goes through here and then when we actually trigger our intake, this shooter will spin all the way up to here in line with the intake. So we can transition from here to our intake uh, to our shooter. So we line up and then so the shooter will go par parallel with the uh, intake and then we intake there. It goes up to our shooter and if she tries to intake, you, it won't actually run because we already have a note in. And so yeah, this, this is our stow position. We just keep it in our shooter ready to do either, you know, we can score for our amp, our uh, speaker, our uh, trap. So I guess the first thing we can look at is just our basic shot. So our basic shot consists of, you know, obviously our shooter, but we have two line lights that will detect uh, April tags. And so we basically find how, where our robot is relative to this April tag and then align ourselves with it and then give our carriage or our shooter a uh, specific angle and power to make it go into the speaker. Are you doing anything else for like localization as well as like, like are you combining that with the odometer or are you simply uh, just going off the April tags? Strictly? Just off April tags. Cool. Can we see what a couple of those shots look like? What's an amp shot look like and then walk me through how your track works? Yeah, so we could do an amp shot first. So for our amp shot, we raise our uh, shooter all the way and then we flip it. So the interesting thing about our amp shot is we don't actually use our shooter wheels, we use our intake wheels. So because these can provide us more control and it also allows us to go into the amp to make sure we are getting our shots in. So we don't, we don't push it that hard. Whenever we shoot it, it just rolls out. So, uh, yeah. And then one of the other things when we were talking earlier too is that this position that you have is kind of like a counter defense against teams that might be blocking you for those April takes. Yeah, ball. so another one of our big and very cool uh, shots we have is our defense shot where we raise our shooter all the way to its max extension and then we have a set angle. That way we can just line up with the um, wall on the stage and then we shoot and we'll go in as since it's a set angle. So, yeah. And let's uh, walk through what your uh, trap shot looks like as well. Okay, so... Uh, so a trap shot is consists of... So this is almost fully automated. All our operator has to do is just press like continue buttons, basically. So the first part is we raise our hook so we can grab onto the chain. And then we pull down to get our robot all the way up. And then our shooter will raise all the way up. And then the intake part of it will connect with the trap. And that way, whenever she shoots, it will just roll in. So, uh, you know, there's so much efficiency with this robot here. Congratulations on building such a great robot, Argos. Good luck here at Central Illinois. Thanks for telling us about your team. And can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.